because when you know that he is God, don't nobody have to beg you to give thanks. When you know that we are his people and the sheep of his pasture, don't nobody have to touch you three times to get you to shout. When you know that if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, you can't help but bless his name. I need somebody up in here that has an active worship, an active praise to jump to your feet and take about 30 seconds if you know your God and just give him a prayer. Hey, hey, don't get tired. Praise him, church. Praise him, church. Don't you stop when the music stops because the music is not going to dictate your next blessing. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him for what he's already done. Now praise him for what you want him to do. You don't have it yet. It hasn't happened yet, but I need somebody to open up your mouth. A praising church is a healthy church. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not just shouting. I know why I shout. I'm not just running. I know the reason why I'm running. I'm not just saying hallelujah, but I'm saying hallelujah because I know. I got to close here. I can't do this. But in the court of law, they have something called the Miranda Law. And that simply means you have the right to remain silent. And anything you say will be used and held against you in the court of law. Look at your neighbor and say, that's for the court. But that's not in the church house. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus... And what he's done for me, I need every act of praise to just get you something that God has done and open up your mouth and give him a prayer. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. I said give him a praise. Are there any praises here? Did the Lord save you? Did the Lord deliver you? Did he redeem you? Did let the redeemed of the Lord say so? Yeah! I gotta pray. Bow your head, I'm done. Hey! I know, I know, I know. I know it's I know it's pastoral teaching month. I know I know that we're gonna bring what we do on Wednesdays to you on Sunday, but look at your neighbor and say, I gotta praise him. Woo! Oh. Oh. You got about 60 seconds. You got about 60. Oh, oh, oh. to be shouting off of a teaching message. Y'all not supposed to be shouting. I know why I'm shouting. I know why I'm dancing. I know why I'm praying. I know why I'm I know why I'm praying.
it's healthy. This is a healthy environment to give God some praise. This is a healthy environment to call. All things are ours. All things are ours. We can preach, teach, praise, worship, dance, meditate. All things are ours. Oh, all things are yours. All things are yours. Don't let nobody box you in. Don't let nobody box you in. church is this? What type of church? What type of church is it? What kind of church is this? What kind of... Ow! The word church, shouting church, praising church, preaching church, teaching church, loving church, forgiving church, merciful church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stay right there. Stay right there, but just bring it down. Stay right there. Stay right there. Everybody that can't stand, just stand. Stay right there. I don't hear no beat. I don't hear no beat. I don't hear no. Stay right there. I don't hear no. Everybody that can stand, say, every head bow, every eye close. Listen. Somebody here, you wondering. You said, I want to know God. I want to know Him. I want to have that type of joy. I want to have that type of joy. Why y'all shouting? Why you doing all of that? We're not perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to me. Every head bow, every eye close. But we've given our heart to the master. We put our hand in God's hand. And somebody here, you want to know him. You want to give him your heart. You want to be saved. If that's you right now, you want to confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. The Bible says, then and only then shall you be saved. If you're here right now and you say, I need prayer because I want to turn some things over to the Lord. I want, I want to give him my heart, give him my hand. I want you to slip your hand in the air right now. Lift it high wherever you are. If your hand is lifted, I see you. If your hand is raised, I want you to grab everything that belongs to you. Find the nearest aisle and meet me right here at the altar. We're going to pray for you wherever you are. Wherever you are, salvation is yours. Wherever you are, I see you. I see you. Somebody give God praise. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, oh God. Now while you praise and start praying for somebody on your road that need to be walking, if you lifted your hand, God bless you, my sister, and you say, I want to give the Lord my heart, step out, step out and meet me right here at the altar. God bless you, my sister, wherever you are. Secondly, if you hear, you say, I, I know God, but I've been in and out of church. I, I need my joy back. I've lost my joy. I want to rededicate my life to the Lord. If rededication is what you're seeking, God bless you. I want you to come on, come on. Find the nearest aisle. Come on, come on. Step out. God bless you. I see you coming. I see you coming because it's your time to move. This is your opportunity to move right now. Yes, 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 yes. I see you coming. Give God praise. To come. Now, as you see them coming, I need you to praise God like, like you know them, like, like it just happened. Woo. We gotta go. We gotta go. But thirdly, you may be here. You say, I'm looking for a church home. Shh, bring it all the way down. So give me. I'm looking for a church home. I'm looking for a place that is not limited, but that will encounter God's presence. I'm looking for a place where the word of God is going for. I'm looking for a healthy church to be a part of. If that's you, wherever you are, grab everything that belongs to you and meet us here at the altar, wherever you are, wherever you are. We're waiting on you. Wherever you are, step out, step out, step out. Wherever you are, God bless you. I see you coming. I see you coming. I see you coming. Come on. You got to do what God wants you to do. You need to be where God wants you to be. You're looking for a church where you can grow that believes in discipleship, that believe that all things according to God's word belong to the people of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you need prayer, 
you're going through an issue in your life, you want to be filled with the Holy Ghost, step out from where you are and just meet us right here at the altar. We're going to give another 60 seconds to praise God for these souls. If you need to come, start walking now while we give God glory. We're not going to sing a song. We're going to praise God because the angels, hey, rejoice over one soul. They're coming, church. They're coming. We're going to praise him until he shows up in your life, until he shows up on your road, until he shows up in our church. Hey. Clap your hands, everybody. See you coming. Come on to Jesus. Come on to Jesus. Turn it over to him. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Praise God. Do me a favor. Turn to the bring it down. Bring it down. They gotta hear me. Turn to the person next to you. Say, neighbor, if you need to get to the altar. And you're afraid to walk by yourself, just ask me and I'll walk with you. Now, if that's you, just ask the person next to you, will you walk with me? And neighbor, grab their hand and just lead them here to the altar. We're going to give God praise. They're coming, church. They're... Should somebody give God glory over here? Yeah. Is that somebody walking? Somebody give God praise. I see some. Now clap your hands and give God praise to these souls. Here at this altar.